Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Dear Graduandi, most of you worked very hard, and many of you and your parents made many sacrifices for you to be here today. Congratulations! Please enjoy this moment. Today is the beginning of a new life journey. If the journey is without obstacles, you will not learn much. But if you can face each obstacle with determination and guts, you will make a difference in life. Remember, it is up to each of us to make the world a better place. My stepfather always says that he cannot believe any person asks a woman to talk. They do it so well without being asked. <laughs> Prof. Janssen, you make me feel very special today. As you can see, I am a person with Down syndrome, which means that I have one extra chromosome in every cell in my body. Some people with Down syndrome are just partially affected. In their case, some cells are normal and some are affected. I am not like that. All the cells in my body have an extra chromosome, which is a small thread-like structure in the nucleus of each cell. The condition is called trisomy 21. 29 years ago, I was born, and my grandmother's friends wanted to pray for me to become normal. But my mother asked him rather to pray that I would receive the support to reach my full potential as Down syndrome. My parents were happy with me, as I was. This was also the way they raised me. They accepted me unconditionally. I've always wondered why people admire Nelson Mandela. When my mother explained the fact that he was in jail for 27 years and stayed positive and loving, I immediately identified with him. Sometimes I also feel that I am in a jail of my own body because I cannot say how I feel. And so many people talk to my mother about me and not to me. The philosophy that helped Nelson Mandela to survive 27 years in jail was the poem Invictus that he loved. It ends with the following phrase. You are the master of your destiny, and you are also the captain of your soul. Dear Graduandi, we must all take responsibility for who we are, and not hide behind all the reasons we can think of to feel sorry for ourselves. Life is a journey. We all have to travel. Sometimes it is a long, hard journey with many obstacles. You cannot always change your circumstances, but you can change the way you look at them. I was born with mental and certain physical disabilities, but my parents did not focus on that. They really tried to develop the things I could do my parents did not expect the same of me and my sisters, but they did expect of me to do my best in everything I do. If I wanted to become part of the normal world, my mother told me to look what normal people do and try to do the same. She also expected of me to try to fit in socially the fact that she never showed me that she was sorry for me, helped me to grow. I believe 
What must never focus on what you don't have, but be proud of who you are. But I strongly believe one must work hard to make the best of your circumstances. I was in Marty Duplessis School, a school for learners with cerebral palsy and learning difficulties, for 15 years. We followed the national curriculum and I was the only learner with Down syndrome who attended this school. I had to work hard to stay there. Some boys made fun of me because I looked different from them. That was one difficult thing of a school with only normal children. You have problems fitting in. So I started to ask the boys whether they wanted my extra chromosome <laughs> because they couldn't understand what I was saying. They left me alone. One should try not to let people hurt you so easily, but forgive them and don't focus on the negative things they say. Later, the children chose me as class captain and it made me feel as if I belong there. I will always be thankful for that. I received a national grade 10 certificate before leaving Marty Duplessis High School. This happened, although my first headmaster did not even want me to attend the school because I looked different from the other learners. During my time in school, I knew I had to fit in or leave. Now school is acronym with Tayo College in is book the enigste persoon met Down syndrome wat nog ooit daartoe gelaat is. Ons het drie uur vraagstelle geskryf wat nationaal opgestel en gemerk word en niemand kon my bevoordeel nie. Met die genade van die jyre en harde werk en die maagseer omdat ek so gestres het het ek nou alle technische metriek wat die N3 kursus is. Daarna het ek die N4, N5 en N6 kursusse geslaag. N6 is die hoogste akademiese kwalifikasie aan die college. Nadat ek my praktis voltooi het, is die nationale diploma in Educare aan my toegeken by die college jaarlikse diploma plechtigheid. Dames en jyre, ek hoef vir jylle sê, dat die slag van my vakke nie makkelijk gekom het nie. Ek het van my vakke gedruip. En weer gedruip. En selfs weer gedruip. Maar ek het nooit moed opgegee nie. Ek het net harde probeer. Ek het geleer wanneer dit nodig was. Want ek wil my droom verweesendlik. Ek het nooit vir myself jammer gekry nie. Dit is een moos van energie. En ek wil aan myself bewys dat ek dit kan doen. Dit was my droom. Ek het nooit kon denk, dat ek ook een dag, so oor die verhoog sal loop, soos die graad Johandie vandag nie. Ek het die toege, band en wiki gedra, en al die mens op die verhoog, en daarna amal in die stad sal, het vir my opgestaan, omdat ek die enigste en die eerste downsie is in die land, wat een diploma verwerf het. Sjoe, dit was so ongelooflik. Ek het oor die skare mense gekyk en my ma sê na jou, al die harde werk was die moete werk. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what? I'm so happy to work at Letty Fouchier, a special school for learners with learning problems as assistant in the pre-primary classes now. That was my field of study. I enjoy every day and help the teacher to give lessons and to stimulate the learners. 
I love the children and feel sorry for them. They have all kinds of problems, and I can understand most of their difficulties. Down syndrome, South Africa, asked me to do the opening speech at the International Conference for Down syndrome in 2012. They also asked me to be on the Down syndrome International Board. And I even got an invitation to visit the Down syndrome International Office in London in July this year. I was also named as Down Syndrome Person of the Year. Because of all this, I was nominated as Bloemfontein of the Year in 2010. <laughs> there were many professors and international researchers and other wonderful adults who have made the people of Bloemfontein proud. I was among these people. Me, a girl with Down syndrome, a condition which made people abort their babies and lock them in institutions or at the back of their homes so that other people cannot see them. I pray for guidance every day. And after my father died, I also prayed for the strength to go on with my life. I decided not to feel sorry for myself. With the help of the Lord, one can do anything if one really tries very hard. We were such a happy family, and one should never underestimate the importance of a happy family. When my family is with me, I can only hold out my hand and someone will always help me. May our dear Father provide you with the people and structures you need when you hold out your hand to him. Or even better, may there be times that it will be your hand that will help people over the hurdles of life. Dear ladies and gentlemen, we must all be proud of who we are. Yes, life has happiness and sadness, but it depends on us what we do with our lives. Success is measured against oneself. Never compare you to others. Make the most of your opportunities and know that the Lord made us all special. Be thankful for normal intelligence and know that the Lord will always look after you if you work hard and trust in Him. Dear Grajohandi, may each of you be blessed with dreams that can be fulfilled, happiness and peace, and a heart full of compassion for those you need. My God bless each of you. Thank you.